Happy Monday to you, Zebra Sexuals. What is up? Today I am bringing you a special battle that is going to be... Well, it's not really special. It's a battle that I had against uh, Tegwist, the guy who was sitting. Uh, this was during his one of his random deciding to stream days. And uh, this was towards the end where we just decided to just do a grab bag. But uh, let's talk about Tegwist for a moment. Or the guy who's sitting. He is celebrating his sixth anniversary or his sixth year of being on YouTube or when he made his account. And uh, he uploaded a really special video uh, against uh, Fizzy Stardust. So... Uh, Make sure after this video you go check out Tegwist's channel and uh, go check out that video. There's a lot of a lot of cool shit happening on that. And go, you know, like, comment, and subscribe for him. Give him lots of comments. But let's go ahead and get into this, this battle. It's battle is just like a bunch of random, just grab bag, whatever the fuck you want. But uh, I told uh, Tegwist pick a number 1 through 30 out of one box. And I was like, that's going to be my lead. He picked, uh, I think, like, I don't know, like 7 or 8. But uh, that ended up being Drapion. Uh, this is like an agility Drapion with uh, 3 attacks. Uh, here he goes for the um, the uh, the taunt, but I just decided to straight go for the X scissor right off the back. And I know, I don't know if he has a focus ash or not, but I figured maybe since he didn't have normal jump fake out, I'd just do that and just activate his uh, unburden. But uh, it just straight out kills him. So now he's gonna bring in lol. I don't know, and that thing's gonna go for the flamethrower. And I'm gonna live on seven. I'm able to get a stab night slash off. It does a decent amount of damage, but uh, yeah, it doesn't quite do enough, I guess. But. Uh, He's going to Grass Knot, and I was going to laugh if that didn't do 7 damage, but of course it will, But because uh, Life Orb. But I can bring in Scyther, go for the Wing Attack, that way um, I can finish this thing off. I know I'm banded, I should outspeed him unless he's Scarfed, but I saw that he's Life Orb. But uh, he's going to bring in Unpheasant, and I think this thing, I don't know if it gets Brave Bird or not, I've never seen an Unpheasant before. It's called So Strong, so I figured might as well bring in uh, Arbok with the Intimidate, that way he's the minus 1 attack. But turns out he has Feather Dance, which drops my attack which is like well shit I'm gonna be minus two attack so I'm like well okay maybe I can coil up and you know maybe do something so uh, I think uh, no I go for glare I go for glare to make him slower so he can't keep uh, taunting me but uh, he's gonna toxic protecting my switch but I just decided hey I'm just gonna go for a random gunk shot because I don't know what this thing does I don't know what it does so um, he's gonna bring in I'm cold which is his throw obviously because he's you know so fat that he's so cold so um, I think I don't know if we both double switch but uh, I'm gonna bring it yeah we both double switch and I'm gonna bring in um, my whale lord named spouting which is you know obvious because I'm gonna go for spout but I get a crit on the um, on the waterfall uh, doesn't well, it kind it's kind of unfortunate since you know I could keep hitting him and you know do as much damage and his throw his throw wouldn't have to take as much damage as it did there. But uh, can't really do anything about that. Going to go for another waterfall, maybe get a flinch, but uh, he's gonna go ahead and go for a bulk up. This way he's gonna live another um you know live another waterfall and uh, he's gonna start hurting a bit because uh, I know I use throw and with when he gets a bulk up he's uh, actually really good. And then if and then people forget that he gets guts and they try to you know they try to poison him or something. So, so I'm going to go for another waterfall. Since the bulk up, it's not even going to do a lot. He's going to circle throw me out. And I think he gets a crit here. Uh, yeah, so he, like, returns a crit to me. So it's like, okay, whatever. So he circle throws me out into the worst possible thing, which is Scyther, since I'm I am such so much faster. And I figured maybe U-turn will probably kill, but then again, it is resisted, I believe. So it's not going to quite kill. So I think he's probably going to go for, I don't know, he had Rock Slide. So I figured I can bring in Ekans, go for the minus one, uh, minus one attack. Plus, if he does go for the fighting move for some reason, I resist. But uh, it turns out he's going to miss his Rock Slide, which is rather unfortunate. And I think I'm just going to go straight for a gunk shot um yeah i'm going for gunk shot uh, without the coil and i'm actually going to hit and it's going to uh end up taking out the uh throw which is great i don't know if he had earthquake or not i think he had bulk up circle throw uh rock slide maybe payback just you know for you know coverage um he's going to bring in glade he's going to go for stone edge probably predicting me to switch out into scyther or something to take a uh, close combat or earthquake but uh he's going to get a stone edge crit and it's going to do lots and lots and lots of damage to me because you know crits are of part of the game so uh he's gonna go for shadow sneak i'm not sure why just that uh, probably i don't know if glade is faster than my arbok he probably is but uh i guess since i, I go for sucker punch he goes for shadow sneak it'd take me out first but uh i'm gonna go ahead and bring in scyther i don't really care what he hits me with i can hit him with a uh u-turn or whatever since i am choice banded i'm gonna go ahead and do a u-turn on this uh unpheasant it does a decent amount of damage for being resisted but then again you know choice banded scyther ain't nothing to fuck about so i'm gonna bring in mrs nbz mrs nubs and uh uh, it is male and it is, it is Mrs. NBZ. It is his uh, heterosexual life mate, and uh, it is a goat or sheep or whatever Amphros is. But um, 
Um, I'll go for Cotton Guard on his Toxic, so I thought he might have switched out since I did bring in Ampharos and, you know, want to hit it with a Thunderbolt, maybe, and, you know, maybe he'd switch into, um, Pillow Swine, which he does have to, you know, resist my, um, resist my uh, blah blah blahs or whatever. Here, I know he has for Taunt, so he's going to probably predict me to just keep going for Cotton Guard, but I figured might as well just throw a Thunderbolt in this thing's face. It is Stab. Um, I'm not sure what my EV spread is since I made this a while ago, so maybe the crit didn't matter. I don't know, because he, his, his uh, Unpheasant has no attacks. It's purely defensive, so uh, I think the crit might have mattered, but then again, I do have Focus Blast in case if he wanted a Roost. But uh, I'm going to go for Focus Blast here on the uh, Pillow Swine, and I believe it's not going to to take it out, but then, uh, then again, Tigwis being the amazing uh, Pokemon player that he is, uh, misclicks and t hits Reflect for some reason, so I was like, wow, way to go, Tigwis, well, I don't know why you'd set Reflect on a special attacker, he was like, well, I misclicked, so I was like, alright, so... I'm going to go for Thunderbolt just to give him the turn because he really wanted to go for Earthquake. And I'm not sure how much Earthquake would do. I was pretty sure I could probably live since I do have the Cotton Guard. But with the Toxic Damage and uh, uh, at the HP I'm at, uh, Ice Shard from uh, Pillow Swine is actually going to be able to take me out because uh, I'm going to be at 18 HP. Uh, my Taunt wears off. I can't really do anything. I'm going to end up getting Ice Shard in the face. So, you know, that happens. And then uh, Mrs. MBZ is going to die. But, uh... His Pillow Swine's at a really low amount of HP. I can bring in Wailord and go for the uh, Curse as he Ice Shards just to, you know, get some damage. I'm pretty sure he'd be faster than me anyway since I am a Curse set. I'm, I think I'm at max HP and some defensive investment. I'm not really sure the EV spread I put on this thing because I just randomly made it. So I went for Curse because I know he has Glade and I kept thinking he had one more Pokemon left. So, like, I was like, alright, so I can probably go for, uh, and plus he has Reflect Up so my physical attacks aren't going to be doing a lot of shit and I think Mrs. MBZ was my only special attacker so it's like okay well fuck so here he goes for Stone Edge instead of close combat I'm guessing he predicted me to go into Scyther but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rest up and get all of my HP back seeing that he seeing that um you know he went for Stone Edge for some reason I'm not sure why he didn't go for close combat but uh, I'm gonna rest up get all my HP back uh, try and wear out these turns of reflect that way you know I can you know demolish this Glade so reflect wears off he decides to go for Ice Punch I'm guessing uh, I, I think this is where I found out that's his last poke, and I'm going to go for Sleep Talk, and I do believe I do get the first turn Waterfall, which is great, and it's it's easily going to take out the Glade from where it's at, so, you know, bye-bye Glade, and that, I believe that is going to be end up end up being the match, so, good game to Gwis, or... Uh, it was good, I guess. It was decent. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Make sure you check out Tigwiz's channel. Go go sub subscribe. Sub sub subscribe if I could talk like a fucking normal person. But, you know, go subscribe to Tigwiz. He's a really cool guy. Uh, you know, he uploads battles. He's actually uploading a lot now. Um... Well, not to say that he hasn't been uploading before, but, you know, he's, he's actually has more time. He's uploading a current schedule on, like, a certain Ignited Night who just, like, dropped off the face of the planet. Oh, called you out. But go check out Tegwist's channel. Go check out his 6th anniversary video. It's a, it's a rotation roulette against the one and only Fizzy Stardust. So go check that shit out, guys. I will catch you guys later. I hope you have a great Monday and a great week. I'll probably have another battle sometime soon. So I will catch you Zebrasexuals later. Cheers.